How We Made the Reach Records Christmas Album, The Gift, a Christmas compilation by 116. This is probably one of my favorite projects to work on at Reach. Why? Because it was super unconventional. A Christmas Christian hip hop album. We had just dropped the summer 18 playlist. It was a success. I sent an email to the artist copy of our CEO, Ben Washer on it like a couple months after that. Like, hey, that was dope. Let's do a winter playlist idea. He replies back like two minutes later, Ace, Forget the winter playlist idea. Let's do a Christmas album. And I was kind of like, I, I guess. I mean, we, we can we can try. Fizz was telling me that Ben had this idea to do a Christmas album at Reach for the longest. He's a huge fan of Christmas music. It seems like now was the time. In September, we decorated the whole studio with like Christmas decorations, light, fake snow, you name it. Invited some selected writers and producers and pretty much put them to work to draft ideas. Part of the A&R process was take classic Christmas songs, reimagine them, repurpose them, songwriting wise and then bring them into a hip hop context. Shout out Epic Pro, A Parker, they were there to kind of initially draft those ideas with me. Went back to the label, specifically Ben, I'm like, yo, we got five great ideas. It could be a short Christmas experience, man. This would be super dope. And he's like, no, that's fire. Love where y'all are going. We need 10 songs. So I'm like, <laughs> it's already tough to kind of get Christmas songs in a hip hop setting, but hey, what, we go for it. So I took one of the ideas that A Parker had and started making a new beat. And this beat became the early stages of this Christmas. I, I, I randomly, while making the beat, the hook idea just kind of came to me. So this is the early draft and stage of this Christmas. So we added that song, added like What A Time, Dave James came through with Noel, and then finally we had nine solid hook and song ideas. This is like probably like early to mid-October at this point. So at all this time, we haven't even brought the artist in. So reach out to the artists, like, hey, we have this vision for a Christmas project, it'll be dope. I mean, there was interest, but it was also like people had tours going on, other projects, other priorities. Andy Lecrae, What Up RG, they're on the Better Late Than Never tour. Shout out Biz, he really helped bring this whole Christmas project to life. We pretty much hop on a plane, go to DC where they're having the tour with the sole purpose of selling this Christmas project idea to Andy Lecrae and What Up RG. And we get them like to hear the songs, we play the ideas, and then we also kidnap Lecrae and What Up RG um, in the midday before the show that night. Take them to our hotel, convince the hotel people to give us a conference room to set up a studio um, site with like mics and booths. And we basically cut ideas for the Christmas project at that moment. Uh, Lecrae cuts uh, We Three Kings, RG lays What A Time. And that was like, at that moment, I felt like the Christmas project could actually happen. That kind of like catapulted some of the other artists to, to see the vision for it. And so we got Tadashi on, uh, we got some more songs in the funnel. Wande was a Reach um, A&R uh, assistant at the time. And she was basically like, yo Ace, I'm not gonna let Reach Records put out this Christmas album unless the This Christmas song makes a cut. I was pretty much done with it because we weren't getting the feedback from the artist. She like takes the song, gets Jalen and Sean on it, gets John Keith on it. And basically we have nine finished records for the Christmas album and we have to get the song mixed and mastered and time is of the essence. We gotta get content shot, the marketing team, digital teams, everybody sprinting, rushing to drop it on Black Friday. On Black Friday, everything drops. I think for the first hour of drop day, some of the songs are the rough mixes that we had to upload because the masters weren't ready yet. But finally, in a couple hours, everything switches over. Everybody takes a sigh of relief. And what a time to make a Reach Records Christmas album. It was literally a Christmas miracle to pull that off, but I'm glad it did because people were blessed by it. It was one of my favorite projects to work on at Reach Records. So check it out. Oh God.